Hello there and welcome to Linux SEO and I'm making this video after a really really long time because I had some issue with my hand so I kind of injured it and uh, because of that I was not able to make any videos so I thought let's make a video about Proton VPN Linux SEO channel already have a video on this VPN service provider but they recently updated the application so earlier they had the community based command line application but now they finally work it out and they made a dedicated linux graphical interface application and uh, which is awesome so in this guide we will see how to install this application on linux and it doesn't matter which linux distribution you are using as long as it's linux you will be able to follow along this guide so for those who do not know about Proton, so Proton is a company based on Switzerland and Swiss guys are very serious about user security. They have the famous bank, the Swiss bank and uh, this company is based on there and this company provides a lot of services. So the two most popular one are the Proton Mail and the Proton VPN. They also have now Proton Drive and they did a major redesign and update on their user interface and how people interact with their products and uh, that is just awesome so you can try out their services i use the proton mail and proton ppn and uh, you do not have to buy the premium version of it they provide you a free quota so if you just want to try out their service then you can use that free quota and uh, there are some vpn providers like nordvpn express vpn and uh, and a bunch of others and they are pretty solid when it comes to security but they do not provide you any free quota to use but this vpn provider provides you the free quota so you get three regions japan netherlands and usa and they provide you around 25 something servers so you can use them for free if you go for the premium then you get around 50 plus countries and thousand plus servers so that service is also available if you want to try it out that way but uh, it's pretty good with free service as well uh, that's what i'm going to use in this guide so to install it i'm going to use ubuntu but you are free to use any linux distribution doesn't matter which one you're using as long as it's Linux, you are good to go. There are only three major distributions out there. The Debian based, Red Hat based and Arch based. There are a bunch of others and you can also install this application on those Linux distributions. But only these three families are the topmost families when it comes to Linux. So I'm going to demonstrate it on Ubuntu, but you are free to follow along even if you're using Fedora or Red Arch, Manzara or any other Linux distribution, doesn't matter. Just pause this video till the end. To install this application, you can download the .dev file for Debian web distribution. For Red Hat distribution, you can download the RPM file. And for Arch based, you can just use the Pac-Man and install it from there. They have made it pretty easy. This is Ubuntu, so I'm gonna demonstrate it on my virtual machine over here because I already have this application on my main distribution. So I'm going to demonstrate it on this virtual machine. So what do you want to do? You just download the .dev file from the official website. I have the .dev file over here. Okay, so you go to the Linux, install Proton VPN and from here you just click on Ubuntu or Debian or Mint, it doesn't matter, choose any and i will also provide you the link to this article so that you can easily install the application in your system but uh, as this is ubuntu i'm gonna click here and i'm gonna copy this uh, url from here and i'm gonna go to the virtual machine i'm gonna download it using wget you can just paste the link in the browser as well and it will download the file but i'm gonna use the wget so that it can download it directly from the terminal so i will be providing all these links so do not worry about that now just install the dot dev file in your system so for that just type so this dot dev file has been installed in the system so what this file does basically it uh, adds the repository to the system and now you can simply update the repositories and hit enter this will fetch any new pack is available so if you can notice this has added this repo this repo.protonvpn.com so 
that's been done now just install the proton vpn utility and the application will get installed in the system for that just use the installation command sudo apt install and the application name that is proton vpn hit the enter and uh, this will ask for your permission type y and hit enter again similar process is also for the red hat based distribution you just have to download the .rpm file for red hat distribution you can use the or they have the application in the repository so the application has been installed just uh, open the application menu and search for proton vpn you should see this icon hit enter and uh, the application will pop up if it asks for the password type in the password here you have to provide the login detail so i have already created a new account for the proton vpn so i'm going to paste in the details So I have logged in into the application and as you can see it has the three free locations and these are the premium locations but these three ones are very good this one also support the tor network and uh, this one is just the basic so let me just connect to netherland hit on the connect button and uh, this should connect to the netherland as you can see this has connected now i can simply open up the web browser and uh, show you the location currently i am studying in delhi i am in delhi india but if i go to google and uh, this will give me this uh, netherland uh, google so if i search for what is my ip what is my ip and uh, they should show my location in netherland let me check with this website so as you can see this is saying i'm in amsterdam netherland and this is my isp which is not the real isp because i'm connected to the internet through vpn so this is the application this also comes with this little indicator so you can also use this to connect or disconnect or to show the application so this is the app and this has now the graphical user interface as you can see it is not that old command line based application anymore this is graphical so this way you can install this application in your system it's pretty easy let me know what you think about this vpn service provider if you use this one or if you use any another one let me know about it in the comment section below so this was the guide and i hope you find this guide helpful and uh, hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't or you are new to this particular channel and i shall catch you in the next one till then Take care and keep enjoying Linux.